everybody, welcome to another TV Reviews from the Cosmic Crisis TV people. I am Josh, and with me we got Jay. So, it's your boy Jay. And Chris. Peace sign. And today we actually have a special episode for you guys. We are reviewing this week's Arrow episode. <laughs> on time. <laughs> yes, on time. <laughs> <laughs> I do believe the episode oh, was called oh, Nanda sure. Parbat. Yes. What? Yes. Nanda Parba is what the episode was called. That's where Rosal oh, yeah, Gould is living right now. Yeah, wow. Don't make us look like needs. No, 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 no. There's a reason why I forgot that name because I wanted to forget this episode. Okay. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's well, a nice segue. Continue, Josh. <laughs> that is a good segue. It was no, a wasn't. horrible episode. Yeah. I want to forget about it. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> After that, you want to actually start us off with that then? Yeah, yeah it was a horrible episode. <laughs> okay. I didn't, I didn't like it at all. The only part that I liked was that deep talk that Oliver had with Diggle, you know, when they were trapped inside that, um, what, Allah, Allah, Baku, whatever it's called. <laughs> Nanda Parba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nar, Naranda Bop Pop. Nah. <laughs> no, I can't say that. <laughs> Nanda Parbat. Nanda. Anyway, the place <laughs> of torture. We're new. Okay. This is what happens when you get somebody who actually likes the Gotham show trying to do a show with us. Hey, I tolerate Gotham. I don't like it, I tolerate it. Whatever. Anyway, man. anyway, the scene with Diggle and Oliver is what redeemed, kind of redeemed the show for me. You know, they had that deep talk. You know, Diggle was like, you know, you're a brother to me I want you to be my best man that's my diggle voice I want you to be my best man and I was like okay so I doubt you know. people can hear you when you do that voice though oh. you probably be a little bit louder with it uh, well they heard me okay we'll see yeah we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't hear me let me know then I'll talk louder <laughs> oh, so we'll, personally, we'll, we'll mic him personally yeah personally <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, this episode, Oliver and Thea are back from uh, Leon, uh, Leon Yu, and... My man, Leon Yu. Get it right. <laughs> yeah, Leon Yu. <laughs> They're training with uh, Malcolm. Everyone doesn't like him still. And Thea <laughs> tells Laurel that she killed Sarah. You know, she's worse at doing that than Laurel was with telling everybody else with Sarah. She... They had told everybody that Sarah was dead, and one episode more than Laurel ever did spread out through all the other episodes. She went around, I killed Sarah! Next person, I killed Sarah! Just telling everybody, man, she's worse at keeping secrets than Laurel. Ah. Uh, I don't know. That really pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> this episode was. <laughs> whack. I didn't, I didn't care for it too much, except for the end scene, which was a bit of a surprise, but we will talk about that at the end. I was surprised. We'll you, save wow. that. That was a bold-faced <laughs> lie. That is a bold-faced lie As right you know, there. they're making Oliver the Batman of this universe, that's, so of course, that's so, of course so of course, Ra's al Ghul is going to want to be like, hey, why don't you do it? Uh, you, you were such a liar, man. You were surprised. No. Nah. Nah. You were like, oh, wow. Well, I guess they are making him the Batman of this universe. <laughs> they aren't making him the Batman of this universe. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> but anyways, uh, Chris, what did you think of the episode? Okay. Overall, I thought it was a good episode. I actually thought it was better than the last two episodes. Really? But... I'm not saying it was a great episode. Oh, wow. I'm saying it was a oh, good. It's definitely not a great episode. It oh, was wow. a good episode. It was better than the last two episodes. Uh, issues I had with the episode. Um, let's see. First off, the issue that I had would have been when they set the trap for Merlin. That needs to pretty much kick Merlin's butt. Oh. And then Oliver <laughs> shows up and kicks Nisa's butt, but Oliver can't beat Merlin. That is, that is. So, <laughs> I'm sitting there kind of scratching my head like, oh, okay. Well, she, um, she's tired. I, I, thought, I thought Merlin was supposed to be this 
this guy who just goes around and kicks everybody's butt except for Roz's and or Raish, whatever you want to call yeah, him. It's pronounced uh, Raish. Well, okay. actually, in this show, in this TV show, they're calling him Raish. Okay? In this show, they call him both Roz and Raish. Yeah, they do. They do. So the we'll call him Raish for for this episode here. Yeah. Uh, you already proved you're a noob, so just. Tsh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Um, okay, so that, that was the first issue I had with the episode. Um, that was actually the main issue I had with the episode was that, you know, you're not, your continuity is a little bit off. Um, <laughs> basically with who can beat who and, and, and stuff like that. Since, well, Nice did uh, uh, train Malcolm, so... well. That can be you see, Nisa, Nisa keeps losing to Oliver. I mean, every single time they fight, Oliver wins those fights. Yeah, and, and then, so and then you got Merlin owning Thea and Oliver in the cave. Yeah, at the same then, time. Yeah, when they're when they're in their yeah. training, and then all of a sudden, oh, guess what? These people show up, and he's fighting her one on one. I expected maybe a little bit of help or something, or maybe here, let's throw a net over him or something, some type of trap. <laughs> I mean, drop a cage, you know, something to where it doesn't look like they're. He just loses straight up. I mean, come on now. I don't know. Um, that was the only thing that I had a real issue with. Uh, <coughs> I like the flashback scenes. The flashbacks were actually pretty were pretty good this week. They've been good. Um, I just think, I feel last week they had too many. This week I think yeah. they had the right amount. Um, I thought it fit in there pretty well. I just wish they would have put in a few, like, a, just maybe one more scene in there to give us some type of conclusion to this week, because it felt like it just... Yeah, I'm yeah. really wondering and what happened kind of, to kind of weird son. son. Yeah, it, yeah, it felt like they kind of left something off. Um, but, of course, they're going to continue those, but I felt they should have had at least one more scene instead of it ending with them, like, running off or yeah. maybe, like, have a have one more scene with Oliver and, and the kid saying, okay, here, we're going to it, it's okay, we'll get back with your parents or something like that or whatever to basically, you know, end it instead of, like, cutting it off because it felt like it just cut it short. Um, let's see, any other issues? Well, other issue I had, yeah, the was a bit of a... What would you say? Uh, Miss Loose Lips? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, really? Yeah, I was she like, can't keep a secret? Yeah, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Laurel Tommy will. <laughs> And it's true. And, and all those, basically everybody turning on Oliver and stuff, and it was kind of like, yeah, nobody wanted to, man. nobody... Oh, he did for them. Yeah, nobody wanted to back him up or see his point of view, which was basically, okay, everybody needs to look beyond themselves and be like, okay, Oliver's been through a lot more than all of them have, and he knows things that they don't know. I mean, even Malcolm has been through more than all of them. Malcolm's trained underneath Rachel Will. And so shouldn't both of them know more than the others? You think they would listen to him and mm -hmm. be like, okay, you know what? We should work with this guy, even though he's a bad guy. What's the lesser of two evils? You know? Yeah. So oh. that, that was my thing. Was okay. You think everybody would listen to him and be like, okay, you know what? We'll work with you for with him until we can beat the League of Shadow, uh, League of Assassins. Shadows. <laughs> same, same, same thing. Yeah. Uh, well, they didn't even use the League of Shadows. That's in uh, the Batman movies. Um, but the League of Assassins, you think they would have, okay, let's work with you to defeat them. Let's defeat Ra's al Ghul. And then we can worry about, then we can worry about Mer Merlin. Yeah. So, to me, it, it just makes logical sense. Okay, let's take care of this evil here first, because it's the greater. And then we'll take care of the lesser one afterward. Uh, that To me, that makes sense, rather than... That makes sense. Well... I don't know. I think when everybody start to realize that, I think Wait, you know what? I think Diggle kid was starting to come around and be like, you know what? Let's go ahead and get this taken care of because I see this as the as the greater evil. Yeah. yeah. Well, Oliver is their supposed supposed to be their leader. Nah, they they um that, what's that word um impeached him. <laughs> <laughs> he got seems, it seems that way. It really does. It's like uh like the whole speech that Laurel basically gives Thea like. Okay, yeah, you know, you should start making decisions on your own and stuff. You know, even though you don't really have any life experience at all, here, go ahead and make these decisions. Be a stupid child. Yeah. Um, that's what basically everybody is. They have no experience whatsoever, and they're all making these stupid decisions. Yeah. It's and, like, and you know how to make all those dumb decisions? How come his plan, all of his plan makes sense to us? 
we're not guided by emotion. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah. it's hard we're, all, we're all cold hearted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now what Heart do you guys stone. now what do you guys think of the start of uh, Felicity and uh, Ray's relationship, their love interest? Uh, I don't want it to happen. It's not gonna happen. Oh, it's I okay. Don't want okay. It to happen. I okay. Don't like it. I'm still for Felicity. Okay. It's gonna play out through the rest of the season, I believe. Um, but yeah. I don't think it'll play out past this season. Rumor is that they may think about giving him his own TV show, um, huh. basically do an Adam spinoff kind of thing. I That's like, a rumor. Uh, so we typically know when a guest star comes in like this, he's not going to stick around for the whole show. We know uh, uh, that her character Felicity is going to stick around for the long term for the show, so there's always the possibility you'll get the whole Felicity thing back. Uh, right now it's not because nobody really trusts him and you know he's not in a place right now where I guess where he's emotionally available or anything he's kind <laughs> of like you know woe is me I have all this tragic stuff going on and everything like, who wants to be with that anyways yeah he I'm woke up out of bed with her to do equations no no <laughs> not him not him I'm not talking about him I'm talking about Oliver Oliver I'm yes, like, Oliver's in this whole woe is me state and everything. He's just kind of like, he's this really depressed dude that's kind of like, he's acting like a woman. Well, him too. He's so emotional <laughs> right now. He's just, uh, I'm just I don't, don't want to say like he's acting like a woman. I'm going to say that. Yeah, he's, 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 so, like he's so depressed and everything right now. He can't keep a woman. Yeah, so well, he's like, he's, all the women are turning on him and stuff. So what I'm, what I'm saying is not, not that he's like acting like a woman because he's not... I mean, like the yeah. emotional he's ups and downs. We're not sick. He's like he's no. He's acting like he's got a period. That's what he's acting <laughs> like. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he has been looking depressed these last few episodes. See, that's what that's what I'm saying because all of a sudden he's like he's got like these highs and lows. Maybe he was stuck in the Lazarus pit, and they're gonna reveal that later on because all of a sudden he's kind of like this whole. He's not thinking straight. He's like on this emotional high where he just wants to protect Thea and that's all he's doing and he doesn't want to think straight. He's not acting like himself. He's saying he's not emotionally tied to this stuff, but he is and stuff. And so he's not thinking straight. Who knows? Maybe. You saw in the preview for the next episode, uh, Rach's hands cut and he's sticking it in some pool. Maybe that's the last one. Lazarus pit people. So, who knows? Um, but, but I'm saying like right now, Oliver's character isn't ready for any kind of... Uh, romantic relationship or anything like that I mean I don't think he's been since the beginning of the series it's like he's basically cutting everybody off he's not letting anybody in and stuff and I don't know that his character will be ready for that until the end of the season I think he probably has to go through the whole Rachel Ghoul thing and all that stuff before he's ready and maybe next next season we'll start seeing some of that yeah I don't think they'll I don't think they'll play it out until then yeah get him ready for publicity <laughs> Now in, now, in this episode, we also do get to see the full-on Adam suit and for it to be functioning. I didn't care. Oh, come on. That was, <laughs> that was an awesome costume. That was a beautiful suit. That was an awesome yeah, costume. It was a nice costume. But Go, finishing that up, <coughs> finally flying and everything. I, I, didn't, I don't remember him being able to fly in the comics. Who cares? Who cares? Yeah, it's not it looked look cool. Yeah, of it's course it looked cool. Who cares about no. canon? Wow. <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> this guy over here complaining about canon. And the other day, hmm, let me see. I don't even, but that's my point. I'm saying, like, oh, canon, and this isn't canon, so. But it's the Adam character. Nobody cares about the Adam character. Okay, so. He's a minor so I just don't character. Care canon yeah. Well. But, so, it, I, I but this cared. looks like they're going to make him pretty big. I never cared for the Adam or the costume, so I really wasn't like. Oh my gosh! He's well, in the, the comics, suit. he wears spandex. This is an armor. No, I mean I've yeah. never cared about the Adam or his character, so I really I don't care what happens to him. He can die for all I care. It is. I still think the costume <laughs> looks pretty cool. I think it's cool. I like the character uh, Brandon Roth playing Ray Palmer. I like the character. Um, I think they'll keep him around through this season. I don't know that they'll keep him around past this season. We'll see. Um, I kind of hope that they do though, because I like him in the show. But I'll, I'll, I'm looking forward to seeing him in the Flash when they do that crossover with him going over to, to uh, oh, Star Labs. Yes, Star Labs to have, get them to help him with the uh, with the suit and stuff, which will be cool. 
Oh, I can't believe we gotta wait three whole weeks. No. What are we gonna do? I don't know. But then also at the end of the episode, we get Oliver kneeling down in front of Ra's al Ghul, and he's saying, kill me, you know you want to. Ra's is like, I don't want to kill you. I want you to take my place. How about that? Interesting. It's an interesting plot twist. He is I Batman. Mean, well, yeah, he's basically Batman for this universe, but I didn't necessarily see that one coming. I knew they were basically molding him after Batman and kind of making him the Batman of this universe. Yeah. You can tell by the comics from his fight with, with Ra's al Ghul, but in that, in that particular comic, Batman does beat Ra's. Um, but this one, Arrow, Arrow loses. Um, so it's kind of like they are taking a little bit from Batman and stuff and mixing that into their... Kind of proves uh, our point that we're not going to see a Bruce Wayne or a Batman in this universe. No, I don't think we will. I, I really do Gotham. Nobody cares about Gotham. <laughs> Nobody cares about Gotham. <laughs> no. Except you and the four people that do the after show. Oh, me and Josh watched Gotham last night. Don't be ashamed, man. Tell me. I watched Tell it. See? See? <laughs> Hold on. <You're> <laughs> Little Rabbit Trail. I watched the Gotham show completely horrified by their interpretation <laughs> of the Red Hood game. Horrible. Absolutely. Horrible. Horrible. Anyways. But I, I think it looks I think it looks interesting, especially after watching the, the preview and then Raish is basically telling him all the stuff that he may lose and everything, talking about everything that could happen, and then basically telling him, Okay, if you take Basically, the racial ghoul mantle and become the next, then you can basically, basically sell your soul to the devil so you can prevent all this from happening. Is basically what it was. Now, do we think the Oliver will take that, or will he just go back home and consider it and then not take it? I don't think he's gonna take it. I don't think he's that loony right now. <laughs> I think he'll go back home and consider it, but I don't, I don't think he'll take it either. I think, I think he'll, he'll take it. I think he'll probably he'll probably consider it, but I don't think he's going to accept it in the end. Because I think he's basically, he'll probably tell Diggle about it and stuff, and then some of the others. I don't think he's going to tell everybody. I re- I do not think he's going to tell Thea, um, Laurel, uh, Felicity, or Ray, I mean, Roy. I don't think he's going to tell any of them about it. Well, Diggle is basically his conscience is Jimmy Cricket. Yeah, pretty I think much. he'll take it, maybe for like a little bit, and then I'll come back. Nah, if, it, if it's if it's, it's just for a little if bit. it's even for a little bit, he'd probably try to do something drastic. Yeah, I don't know, like change the league or something like that. I don't know. This episode was all over the place for me. It was just like, where are they going with this? This didn't make any sense to me. Really. I didn't see it all over the place. Yeah, it was all, it was just all over the place for me. Just the stuff that they were doing, just every time Laurel was on, said I was just, uh, I hated every second I saw her. Just her whole character. I just, of course. <laughs> you don't like Laurel. Ah, uh, man. I just hate her. <laughs> so much. <laughs> I mean, she's not bad as the Laurel character. I would prefer if they left her longer not knowing anything but you know like the early on in the early seasons as Laurel she wasn't bad but then the more they try to progress with her character the it's worse she gets and her gets. fighting at Malcolm Merlin she yeah. barely got a yeah. punch in it was like I knew she was Idiot. gonna go and do it oh man I like she that she sucks I like that she got her butt handed to her again I'm tired of this stuff He's like, you, you knew it was going to happen where she was going to try and go and face him and be like, you killed my sister kind of thing. So, Now, what do you think of, of uh, Thea telling Nisa that she killed Sarah? What do you yeah, think, she did, what do you think she? she'll do? I don't think she's going to try and kill her. I think she's going to be like, okay, you were under the influence or whatever and stuff. It's still Merlin who... Pulled the trigger, yeah. Yeah, who pulled the trigger and stuff and made you do it. So I don't think much is gonna come of that. I really don't. I think it just try to leave you there with some type of cliffhanger, but I really don't think it was a great cliffhanger. I don't know. I don't I'll, care if Thea dies. Oh yeah, I'll, 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 <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if she did die. I mean, because how far could you go with that as like her sister 
your sister knowing that your arrow and well, well I mean, how could you even use that in like continuing episodes? Well, but the other, the, the other thing is, they do call her Speedy, so they may make her Speedy, like we were talking about the other day. That is oh, an interesting yeah. concept. So, there's that possibility also. And then what would you do with Roy, and just would kill him? He's still Arsenal. He's not oh. Speedy. No, he's Arsenal. You can have multiple. He, uh, Green Arrow's had multiple Arrow partners at one time. So why would you kill Roy off? How about that? You have so much fan rage if you killed the actual Red Arrow off. Yeah, yeah. You're true. supposed to be the DC person. They yeah. get mad. It's like, come on, man. Come on now. I don't know. I did not like this episode <laughs> at all. Wow. At all. Wow. I mean, this is one of the worst episodes. That's why I was surprised when you were like, it's better than the last two. It was better than the last two. I don't think so. No, the last two were they even last had one the was cliche, They even had the cliche when Oliver and Diggle, they found um, Merlin. He's tied up pretty much. Torture got the 39 lashes, and then he's over there on a the rotisserie. <laughs> he's a Pillsbury I mean, Doughboy. the cliche door. It's a trap. No, it does. It's a trap, and you got the cliche door just dropping behind him. Oh, no. Oh, of course it's a that was, trap. Look where you're at. It was also cliche. That was that's stupid. That is stupid. Anybody think they're just going to go right up into his house and then not be a trap or anything? Of course. Mm. I didn't think it was just some... Um, horrible thing that oh you know of course it's cliche or whatever I didn't think it was cliche I thought it was it's obvious yeah. like you know they're gonna get stuck but you know so we'll say this episode was somewhat entertaining I thought it was a good episode good episode I'm not gonna say it was a great episode or anything it was better than the last two but last one was horrible you know I thought it I thought this episode was really good for uh, for the Oliver and uh, Diggle yeah I like Diggle it was really that whole them in their relationship, it, you know, brings them closer together. It gives that, <coughs> works on that chemistry between the two characters. And, um, you know, causes that bond between the two characters to grow. Man, so I can I still see him as Green Lantern. Yeah, yeah, possibly, but I don't think. Can't you just I don't hear think that's going to happen. Doing that Green Lantern. Of course it can be wrong. Man. Yeah. I, I thought it was good because I felt like the last few episodes that they kind of left Diggle out while they're focusing more on Laurel and yeah, Lloyd and, about time. and some of them. So about time to bring it with you. So you know, I was glad they didn't focus on Laurel so much. She she's just an annoying character. Yeah, when when Oliver said, You don't even need to be here it's like, Yes <laughs> Yeah, just clap. Just, like, just kick her out. Yes. Just kick her out. <laughs> you don't need to be in the show. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yeah, but I like the dynamic between, you know, Oliver and Deal. I mean it, it put him back into like that that number two spot where it was like, you know, the the last episode he took he took Laurel or a couple episodes ago he took Laurel with him instead of Diggle and left Diggle behind. Well, I was kind of like, why would you do that? Yeah. So and then this one Diggle was basically like, no, I'm coming with you. Yeah. And he was basically calling him his brother when he said he wanted him to be his best man. Yeah. Yeah. I really like that. Uh, you know, it's it adds more. It yeah. Adds more to that. Mm-hmm. So, because now, he, like you were saying, you know, Diggle can be his his conscience now, and so he's pretty much now he's his pretty much his right hand guy. You know, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go for, go to you for advice and stuff. Maybe Oliver's not gonna be so stupid anymore, and just be like, oh, whenever <laughs> whenever it comes to his family, he's basically all gung ho about family and like, oh no, they couldn't be doing it, or you know, I'm gonna do everything I can for them. Well, dude, don't be stupid, which he's been. So you know, maybe Diggle will be there to. Maybe he'll lean more on Diggle and he'll write a ship or help his thinking, help him focus, you know. I don't know. Anyways. Any other opinions? No. Okay. Let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do, do you think Oliver will take the mantle of the leader of the Assassins or will he not? What will happen to Diggle? Will they survive Nanda Parbat? Let us all know what you guys think in the comments. And once again, if you like this episode or any of our other videos, hit that like and subscribe button. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.